Right, we have another Iowa connection to this Sunday's 93rd Academy Awards, and this connection will be a familiar face to our local five audience. It was something when you were a kid, you'd say, oh man, to be at the Oscars, to have an acceptance, to, to say my acceptance speech or something. You know, I mean, you say things like <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm gonna, but um, no, you don't, you don't, when you're from Iowa, you grow up in Iowa mostly, and I did. Um, it's a long way to Hollywood. It's a long way off, and uh, you don't anticipate that'll ever happen to you. Many of our viewers may remember Jay Vilwak from his work as a journalist with Local 5. On a quiet and grassy hillside in the New Virginia Cemetery lies the grave of John Hasek. Covering various stories, including his series, Vil Walking Across Iowa. About two and a half years ago, oh, hi there, Jay Vilwak here. <laughs> Now, Jay's resume is filled with roles of being a professional actor, including fulfilling a dream of being in a major motion picture. I never thought I'd be. Uh, so, of course, it was a kind of an unreal experience in that way. I never imagined that I would be. I just wanted to do work and feel comfortable doing work, whatever it was. And um, it was just, yeah, it was amazing. And I was amazing to get it. You know, I was amazed uh, to get it. And this Hollywood dream story has now led Jay to having a speaking role in the movie Mank that is nominated for Best Picture at this Sunday's Oscar ceremony. Hey, Mank, you remember me? Oh, oh my God, of course I remember you, CC. CC for Central Casting. But even a seasoned performer who has been cast for a certain role can still feel the pressure when they are on set with all eyes now on them. I was excited and nervous and felt the pressure because there's not only the director and the star there that I'm interacting with, but there are tons of people around watching, you know, their grips and their lighting guys and there's the camera operators and the cinematographer and uh, the, the prop people, the costume people are coming in and eh, do this and straighten that or put this down or, you know, I mean, all of this people, they're all relying on you to get it right. So you're kind of working for everybody at that moment. And the biggest highlight of the whole experience? I think working with Fincher is a highlight for me and Oldman. Those would be the two big highlights um, for me. Just, uh, you know, shooting on a studio lot was a trip. You know, a lot of actors out there I know have never shot on a studio lot. And so, yeah, you, know, you shot at the studio, you know, and uh, the Sony lot, the old MGM lot, which is now the Sony studio lot. And that was thrilling. Now, as far as predictions for the film winning any awards this weekend, Jay is playing it safe. Yeah, I, I wish it the best. It's not everybody's cup of tea, Mac. It's, it's uh, you know, um, it's Hollywood history. Hollywood loves films about itself. Um, so it may do well at the Oscars. Hey, Mac. Well, uh, looks like you found work, CC. For now, Jay and his wife once again called Des Moines, Iowa home. But there is still a chance that the thrill of living and auditioning in Hollywood will make a return. But for those with a dream of being a performer one day, here are a few words of advice. Well, you got to really want it. I mean, really, really want it because it's a lot of work. It's interesting, uh, it's demanding, you gotta drive all over that crazy city. Uh, you know, the traffic is always a mess and, you know, so it takes a lot of foresight and a lot of uh, determination to do it. And for an old guy like me, it was like, I can do it, they can do it. I was not a spring chicken when I went out there and tried all of this, but I always wanted to try it and I did. And uh, I say, I may go out there again sometime. Um, we'll see. But uh, right now, I'm kind of happy here in Iowa. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling good about it. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's so fun. Yeah, absolutely incredible opportunity there. So don't forget to tune in to the Academy Awards this Sunday at 7 p.m. right here on Local 5. So Jay worked at Channel 5, as we mentioned. Um, he worked hand in hand with our chief photographer, Don Smith, who now I have the opportunity, you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to work on so many stories within. Every so often we'll be driving down the road and Don will go, ah, 
did a story there with Jay. <laughs> so, you know, uh, Jay Villalong still lives on in the memories of many people who work here at Channel 5. So uh, it's pretty special that now he is getting, obviously it's not him getting the Oscar for his, his work, but to participate in something that could potentially win an Oscar is pretty cool. Yeah, I was going to say he was part of it. And thank yeah. you to Don for uh, putting that piece together. He had a lot of fun doing that.